Hi, this is Neil Walters with neilsvideos.com, and this is part two on how to use a utility called No Crop. So here, I want to show you first of all how I found the utility. You just go to Windows to your little search bar at the bottom and type in Store. That takes you to the Windows Store, and then when you get there, type in No Space Crop. And actually, here's others that might do similar jobs. This is the one I downloaded here. It's called No Crop Insta Square Size. And it says here it's installed already. So if uh, you didn't have it installed, I assume you'd click on it and click install or whatever. So that's how you get it downloaded and installed on your computer. So here I'm going to go back to No Crop again and do part, part of what I did before. I'm going to put the file name there. It loads it. I hit accept on the bottom. And now that was that blur we looked at in the last video, right? The blur on the side. But notice that you can actually click the word blur here. Okay, there's two things you can do. You click blur, and then this, this shows you how much it's blurred. And by the way, you can actually move her picture in and out like that. So you can actually move it to the left if you want or whatever. So you can make it a little more artistic. So it's centered to begin with. And you know, I think we want it centered basically. Okay. So the default background is the blur, but now notice down here there's a link called background, and then you can actually change the background, all kinds of other silly things here, and you know maybe that might be appropriate for some things, okay? And then over here though, suppose you just want a white background. You can click this little color wheel over here on the left, and then white is always in the upper left corner here. It doesn't matter what color you have picked, white is like the absence of that color. So now you see the borders are absolutely white, and now it's still off the screen, but I can now click Save, and now I'm going to name it EM2, and that should be saved to disk now. And so here is the same picture now with the white background, or at least, well, that's not perfectly white actually, is it? It's almost white. So I think I could mess with it and actually get it 100% white. Okay, I paused the video. I just kind of kept pushing that thing to the upper left corner. So now I think I got it as white as can be. Let's just double check. I'll call this EM3. Now I think that's a lot whiter, right? So now I want to take that and post it. Actually, first of all, I want to post the original one. So now this is for particularly for people that are doing Empower. So I'm going to look for Lady Model. This is the original picture. And I want to pull up Empower again. So here's the original picture. And now I click Post. And you can see what happened is it, it tried to widen the picture as much as possible. And now you see it actually cut the picture off where the camera is. And now the person can click on the picture and then they can see more of it. But there's even then times it might still cut off some of the bottom. So when people come to Empower, they don't want to click on your picture. They just want to see it, right? So you want to make the picture fit as best as possible. And... Also notice again the jagged edge means that there's more coming. If you click on it, you'll see more. It's so like this one. We know there's a little bit of extra at the bottom, but not much at all, basically. So now I'm going to do the final post with the white background. See how that looks. So I'm going to click Add Photos, Upload. And the white one was EM3 JPEG. Voila, that looks pretty good. It still is not a perfect white, though. So I should see if I can learn how to make it pure white instead of sort of that grayish color. So that concludes this video with uh, demonstrating how to use No Crop Insta Square Size, the Windows app that you can download for free. And this is Neil Walters with NeilsVideos.com. Look forward to seeing you on my other videos on my YouTube page. Talk to you soon.